What's up, everybody? Akasun here in the house, uh, recording some reactions to Flash, or not even recording, I'm actually just doing the rendering right now. And it got me to thinking, because it was a crazy, crazy episode that I won't go into spoilers for, if you haven't seen the episode just yet. But by the time this goes up, uh, you will definitely have seen my reaction, if you are so inclined. It was a crazy episode, and it really had me excited so i reacted to it about maybe five six hours after the original airing time in the states here and i was very excited about it that last moment the shocking moment i went back i watched it one more time and i just happened to take a photo of what i thought was kind of a safe moment of the scene not the actual scene not the shocking moment but just something that kind of hinted if you knew what i was talking about it would be fine i took a photo of uh, henry allen and zoom together and i put wtf dot 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 that is it that is it i thought that would be kind of safe I, it didn't really spoil anything yet okay and it didn't really show anything that someone on twitter so would see and get uh, upset about it but there were there were there were a minority of people that were a little upset over that on twitter understandable but here's my question to you red reddit nation i'm wondering about this i started thinking about this even though i felt i was kind of safe and it didn't really hint to anything what is the etiquette especially for TV shows, what is the etiquette in terms of avoiding spoilers? Because there's kind of a, a downside to this. If you're doing international things such as myself, you have an international audience such as myself, and you're on Twitter, to me, it sort of seems sort of common sense to avoid Twitter if you're a fan of the show. I feel that that's kind of it, at least for the first couple of hours after the show has aired or so, just if you just don't know how TV is. Here's the kind of difficulty with television. Sometimes television TV becomes predictable, as you have seen, especially in this season with Game of Thrones, uh, the beginning of Game of Thrones, The Flash, Arrow, whatever, so on and so forth. Television is a bit predictable, so it's kind of... Um, not in your best interest to kind of be online. I know for every Sunday and uh, Tuesday, whenever The Flash airs, I'm offline. I'm completely offline. I avoid that shit like the plague. I know what times it's time for me to get off because I can see Twitter start to warm up and people are excited about it, excited to talk about it, and they have every right to do that. I personally feel for anything like a movie, TV show for if you're really that dedicated to that show you know when to stay off social media social media is the devil if it comes to avoid uh, 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 when it comes to spoilers to kind of uh, stay away from it is the best way possible I feel that's the best way possible I personally take days off to go see a movie in another country so I can avoid spoilers okay I fly to another fucking country to do that I might have to do that for another movie coming up really soon I'm gonna fly to America so I can catch Suicide Squad only because it comes out a month later in Japan, and I can't wait that long. Same thing with X-Men. Now, I know not everybody's going to be able to do that, but I also feel that there is a point that people do have to take a little bit of personal responsibility and just go see, and stay off of the social media, stay off of Twitter just for a few hours till you yourself can go ahead and check out the TV show. I think that's generally the best now, I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? What is the social media etiquette for avoiding spoilers, for not post posting spoilers? What do you guys think is the best sort of thing? A few hours? A day? A week? No way. Because I do feel like the other problem is, how far can you hold off in talking about spoilers? Because you're kind of ruining your own feeling in terms of excitement and trying to talk with other people about it, especially on Twitter. There's a bunch of people out there on, in the States that don't get a chance to kind of share their emotion worldwide with everybody else because they have to wait for the rest of the world to catch up. I don't know if that's completely fair. 
So guys, Red Dread Nation, speak up on this. I'm very curious, what do you think about this Twitter etiquette spoiler situation? What do you guys think the golden rule should be? Should there be a golden rule at all? Let me know below. I'll talk to you next time. Peace. Cisco. In many ways, you've shown me what it's like to have a son. <laughs> Fuck, that's scary. Yep, that's the one. Here you go.